Hi everyone, this is Josie with First the Coffee Crochet. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to do the Even Moss Stitch Towel Pattern. This crochet pattern uses the Even Moss Stitch and the Half Double Crochet Stitch in a combination to create a dish towel that matches the Even Moss Stitch Dish Cloth Pattern that I also have. And I'll leave a link for that down in the description below if you'd like to check that out. So to complete this pattern as written, it will require 220 yards total of a medium weight cotton yarn. And if you're using two colors, it'll be 190 yards of the first color and 30 yards of the accent color. You also need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle to weave in your ends. And stitch markers can also be a good idea to help you keep track of your rows. The finished size of this dish towel is 16 inches long by 12 inches wide. The pattern is in US terms and your initial chains at the beginning of the row do not count as a stitch. If you do want to change the width of the towel, the initial chain needs to be an odd number, and if you'd like to change the height of the towel, you can just add more rows of the even moss stitch in between. And as always, there is a written pattern available for this on my website, and I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. And we will also go over how to change the colors out as you go through this pattern. Okay, to start out, we're going to start in our first color. Uh, right now, I am using a gray color, and this is the Capri Echo Cotton Yarn by Loops and Threads from Michaels. So for the foundation chain, you'll want to chain 45. So for row one, once you have your foundation chain made, we'll be starting in the second chain from the hook. So that's the first chain, and that's the second chain. And for this first row, we're just going to be doing a single crochet all the way across. So to do that, you just insert your hook into the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through both loops. And then do that in each chain going down the row. Once you've completed row one, go ahead and turn your work over. And for row two, you're going to start with a chain of one. And remember, this doesn't count as an initial stitch, so we'll be starting in this first stitch here. And to start out, we're going to do a half double crochet. So that's just a yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now in the next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. So you just insert your hook, pull up a loop, and continue to pull it through that remaining loop on your hook. So all this is going to be across the rest of the row is a half double crochet, and then a slip stitch. You're just going to keep alternating those two all the way across. It is a good idea when doing this pattern to keep your tension kind of loose because it can be a little hard to work with when you're trying to do your half double crochets in the slip stitch from the previous row. Now when you get to the end of the row, the last stitch of the row should be a slip stitch. Okay, so when you get to the end of row two, you're just going to turn your work again. We're going to repeat the same stitch all the way up through row 9. So you'll chain 1 at the beginning of the row, do a half double crochet in that first stitch, then a slip stitch. Just continue that all the way across, up through row 9. At the end of row 9, this is where we're going to switch colors. So if you are switching your colors, the way I like to do it is to not finish this last stitch. So if you finished this last stitch, you can just go ahead and pull it out. And we'll switch the color off during this stitch. Since it's a slip stitch, all you got to do is just hold down the tail of your First color here, insert your hook into that last stitch, put the new color on your hook, and pull that all the way through. 
you can go ahead and cut this first color off so your tail's just hanging there. And then we'll just continue working with the new color. Go ahead and turn your work. So for row 10, 11, and 12, we'll be working in the second color. And all you're going to do for these rows is chain one at the start. And then this doesn't count as an initial stitch, so we'll be starting in the first stitch. And you're just going to do a half double crochet. You'll do this in each stitch all the way across for the next three rows. And at the end of row 12, we'll go ahead and switch back to the first color. So just do your half double crochet all the way across for rows 10, 11, and 12. And then don't finish off the last stitch of row 12 since we will be switching back to color one. Okay, at the end of row 12, on the last stitch, go ahead and pull up your loop to where you have three loops on your hook. And now we're going to switch back to the first color. So before finishing off this stitch, we go ahead and switch over to that color and pull that through to finish off that last stitch of row 12. Then go ahead and turn your work. Now we'll be going back into doing the even moss stitch that we did down here. And this will be going all the way up through row 55. So you'll chain one at the beginning of the row, do a half double crochet, followed by a slip stitch, and then just alternate half double crochet and slip stitch all the way across the row. And that is up through row 55, so this is a good time to get out stitch markers if you want to keep track of your rows that way. At the end of row 55, don't finish off your last stitch because we'll be going back to our second color to do another three rows of the half double crochet. After you've completed row 55 of doing the even moss stitch, what you'll be doing is going back into doing three rows of the half double crochet. So at the end of row 55, you'll be switching back to color two, chain one at the beginning of the row, and do a half double crochet starting in the first stitch all the way across. And that'll be for rows 56, 57, and 58. At the end of row 58, you'll switch back to doing the first color and we'll go back into doing the even moss stitch for row 59. So you'll chain one at the beginning of row 59, and then start with a half double crochet in the first stitch, and then alternate slip stitch and half double crochet all the way across the row. And you'll continue doing that up through row 66, and then for the last row, row 67, you'll just be doing a single crochet all the way across the row like you did for the first row of this dish towel. So at the beginning of row 67, you'll just chain one, do a single crochet in the first stitch, and single crochet all the way across the row. Once you're at the end of row 67, you can go ahead and tie off and weave in your ends. Now, if you like doing crochet dish towels, I have another one called the Combo Stitch Dish Towel, and I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. It also has a dishcloth to match that one too.